Dr Neil Hudson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. While we know that vaping and e-cigarette products can reduce the harms of tobacco smoking in adults, these products are not risk-free, and there is an alarming popularity for vaping amongst under-18s, even in primary age children. There are concerning reports of school children becoming addicted to these products, disrupting their sleep patterns, leaving lessons and even exams to vape. Could my right honourable friend therefore assure me that the government is taking action to prevent the promotion and illegal sale of vapes to under 18s and to prosecute those who break the law in this regard? Right. Can I thank my honourable friend? Uh, as you will know, vapes can only legally be sold uh, to those over 18 in this country. We limit nicotine content, refill bottle and tank sizes, and there's also restrictions on labelling and advertising. When there's any evidence of any breaches, uh, we expect, and I know that the law enforcement authorities take that very seriously, and more generally, given the age group we're talking about, the Department of Health and Social Care is exploring a range of new measures, particularly about addressing youth vaping uh, and preventing and spreading awareness of the harms.